I'm at a place called Lansford Canal. Lansford Canal. Uh, it's in South Carolina, and um, I had to look up this morning what a canal actually was, <laughs> just to just to make sure I was I was on my game here. And a canal is is a man-made, basically a man-made piece of the river. I think it was 1823, if I if I remember correctly. Um, they would use this place to, you know, ship goods on boats and stuff from one big city to another in South Carolina here. I'm gonna, I'm gonna check out this Lansford Canal today. Right off the bat, I'm presented with this beautiful river. This is the Catawba River. I hope the camera is capturing how amazing this place looks with all the, uh, all the mist and whatever you want to call it, fog, I guess, coming off the, the Catawba River here. What is incredibly impressive is the fact that humans figured out how to like manipulate uh, rivers <laughs> in order to do this kind of thing way back in the day. This is why I was so excited about this place is because I knew there was going to be like a bunch of like rocky structures and that sort of thing. Pretty cool. I'd actually like to walk down in here. Off. I assume was, this was some sort of a roadway, basically for little boats to, you know, make their way down to the main river there. Come here, Raph. I'll help you. It's got this convenient little handle I can grab. I need to hoist him up. Let's see. I bet this sign will tell us what this is. Okay. I guess this was all constructed by Irish Masons. Two Roberts. It's two Roberts. That's what I remember when I was kind of digging into the history this morning before I came out here. Um, both, both Irish, I think. The architect that designed this whole place was, was called I, uh, Robert. And the uh, engineer who designed this place was also called Robert. So I'm pretty sure they probably, when they first met, made the, uh, hello Robert, I'm Robert joke. I'll never complain about anything, any trail that I can walk that's just got that sound of the rushing water coming by. It's so, so peaceful. I mean, if anything, this state park's just worth it to come to. It's because you get to hear the beautiful river. This is half an hour from where I live. This is, this is, you know, a barely, barely even a, a drive. It's like four songs in the car before I got here. I guarantee you've got places like this right near you as well. like there's some sort of informative sign up here so I'll go give her a read and see if I can it looks like it's actually talking about bald eagles I didn't know we actually had bald eagles here let's continue to head on down the path beside the river here oh I have to constantly remind myself when I'm on these nature trails too you know, just chill out you know watch your pace chill out, look around. If you've made the effort to come out to a, to a place like this, you know, take your time with it. Look at this beautiful shot of the uh, river here. Let's get a little update. I mean, I can't think of a much better way to get this whole day going than just you know, wandering around beside the river and just listening to it speak for a while. And the way that the uh, sun's actually coming through the trees 
kind of like it blinks in your eyes a little bit almost like it's you know morse code or something walking down this trail here This old girl, girl, guy, whatever. That tree was probably here watching Robert and Robert, you know, construct this place and all of the Irish workers that were, you know, trying to make this thing into something. This looks like something one of the Roberts designed. We got this cool little bridge here too. I just saw some spider outlook. But uh, we'll, we'll get to it all. I keep telling myself, just chill out. We're gonna see it all. There's another one of these big, magnificent trees. I mean, dang. Can you get a good comparison of how wide this thing is? With me standing in front of it. This tree's been here a while. Look at this cool staircase. these stones laying all over the ground in here they're all remnants of um, you know something that hundreds of years ago people you know they hauled all this stuff in they constructed all of this all these walls and they manipulated they manipulated you know nature in order to serve um, you know in order to serve the purpose that they believed in I just find that so I find that so cool these immigrants that came here to build this thing, they just came with, um, you know, adventure in mind, I imagine. And probably, you know, a bit of a will to make some money. <laughs> just the feeling of walking through here is incredible. I haven't found that perfect, that perfect shot of the Catawba River yet to really show you or to try to translate the feeling of this of this place of where I'm at. Poop stop. Can we get ya? Sorry bro. I know that's embarrassing. It looks like we're walking into more of a wooded area. I'm hoping we get to see some more like stone structure kind of stuff. places like this they just really make you feel small you know they make you feel like you're such a like you're a little ant you know crawling around on earth which is essentially what you are you're still you know your role is just as important as everything else is every one of these little things every one of these trees is a little is a little ant is a little you know piece of piece of the puzzle that's all like forming together here that smells so good right here so this, this is the money, I guess. I'm gonna have to get this from both angles. This, what, this must be what a canal is actually all about. Whoa. And I'm literally walking on the side of a canal right now. Really, I'm starting to understand, you know, what this, what this was. I get it now. Try and get a shot in here. I mean, you can see how they were, how they were manipulating the, the different levels of the water and stuff, I guess, to accommodate the boats and stuff that would come through here.
most incredible video I've ever made. I'm just gonna keep getting better. And I'm surrounded by this, by this massive stone structure. Actually a little bit surprised on how, um, you know, maybe I just don't really know what, exactly what this was, but I'm a little surprised on how uh, it's not wider. Let's see if I can jump up this ledge here. And the problem is I gotta hold my dog while I do it. There you go. kind of like the constraint of having to figure out how to navigate my my dog through my little my little dog companion through this stuff and that's why I'm doing this that's what's that's that's what's so exciting about discovering these places is like I just need to I need to be in these places to experience them Well, that was my first, that was my first canal towards the culvert. I think I remember seeing that sign. Five, the construction of Lansford Canal. That must have been where, where we saw the actual canal. I don't know. I don't know why I try and figure these maps out. Anyways, we're heading back down the trail, uh, back towards the center point, I think is um, sort of the intersection that goes off into some other cool things that we'll check out at, uh, at Lansford Canal State Park here. It's getting warm out, it's beautiful. Sun's beating down, got my hat off. I'm actually thinking about taking this, uh, this sweater off too, cause, yeah. I had to get one more shot of that, that rock wall thing that we saw earlier even though know what I've already seen it because I don't know the light just looked really good look at the shot look at the shot of this Catawba River behind me I think this is that shot I was talking about about getting I mean, there's still no real way to actually present to you how um, how majestic places like this are, how powerful it feels to be standing next to um, you know, just such a, a large body of river that's done so many things in its in its you know time on this planet. Um, you have to just get out here and experience it for yourself. It, the thing is, this it's the scale. You know, that's that's what you that's what you can't feel when you're just watching this on video is the actual um, just the just. The, the relation of the scale, how small you feel standing next to, you know, dare I say, a god called the Catawba River. Let's do one more. Uh, let me just see if I can find some more cool shots in here. It's so beautiful. All right, spider lily overlook. You didn't disappoint. So we've got our amazing shot of the river. I'm sure there'll be even more. I think there's a few more things to discover here. Being completely taken back by the uh, by the beauty of this place. Have I said in this video yet that you need to find these sorts of places that are that are near you? That's my mission. That's what I'm that's what I'm trying to do here. That's the whole point 
I feel like that's that's my my the path I'm supposed to be taking in life right now is just to explore these places, give you a perspective of you know what I what I can see in these type of places, and hopefully encourage you to get out there and find these these just these amazing, beautiful areas that you can explore and you know get your own get your own perspective and truly be able to understand you know what I'm talking about when I when I talk about how powerful you know standing beside a river like this feels I'm at a bit of a loss for words but uh, we're gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna stand here I'm gonna enjoy this place for a little bit longer and then I'm gonna continue to head back towards uh, where, where I initially came from I like to do a little bit of research, a little bit of studying on what these places are uh, before I come here, but I also don't like to, I don't like to influence my mind too much. I like to really experience it firsthand. And um, what I'm trying to do here is just give you, give you my perspective, give you my understanding. It's just some random guy that, you know, wandered into Lansford Canal. My approach to these kind of places is just to, just to explore it, to be inquisitive, to be curious and to just, you know, feel, feel the energy around you when you're out in places like this. And I'm already starting to feel like I know the Lansford Canal. You know, a lot better than when I started, of course. beautiful section of the trail. There's actually a stone structure up ahead. Can you see it through there? So those stone structures we just passed, I guess, used to, to support a wooden bridge. Too bad we still can't experience that bridge, but you know, it's been it's been many years. I think we're lucky to have the, the structures. I wonder how they actually knew there was a bridge there at some point. I wanted to find something that had um, you know a lot of a lot of structure. I wanted to find something where I could really admire the land uh, now that all the leaves have kind of disappeared and, and really opened this place up. And I, I think I made the right choice here. Um, Linesford Canal has definitely come through on, uh, on that. And I don't know, I was just admiring, I was just admiring the, uh, just, how, just how, you know, well, well trafficked this trail has, has become. First, the first like rock structure that we walked by. We must be getting getting close back to the getting close back to where we started. got here this morning there was all this fog coming off the water and it just looked like a completely different place. You know just take in take in the planet and just experience something new and and see something that you haven't seen before. Um, you know that's when you can that's when you can hop on the old Google search for trails near me or land preserves near me or state parks near me or you know use use whatever you want you'll find yourself at a place like this and uh, it's gonna change your life
got sort of a, a lone wolf spirit in me. I've got sort of a, um, I don't know, I just, I don't mind being out in nature by myself. And the, one of the things I really appreciate about these places is that they're so, um, you know, quiet and you can just be out here alone and you might walk by a person every once in a while, but for the most part, you're out here by yourself. And, you know, if everybody started spending more time in places like this, like I claim is, is my mission to, you know, try to, try to do, uh, you know, will that ruin that, will that ruin the solitude? To be honest with you, I don't know the answer to that. I don't think it really matters. All I know is that the more interest uh, people have in places like this, the more people are going to be willing to keep these places around, keep them looking good, employing people to take care of these type of places. Um, so if we got to deal with a few more people out here, so be it. Actually feel pretty fortunate that I that I landed on this trail last because I feel like this is kind of I don't know letting us be a little bit more intimate with the river and uh, you know experiencing all that stuff on the canal trail and learning some of the history and just kind of feeling the energy floating around this place um, yeah this is just a nice way to sort of sort of end the trip here I mean talk about getting intimate with the river here It's so calm and still over here, but I can hear like the rushing of the rapids off in the distance like that. <sighs> what a magical place. I think that's about the end of the line. I think I've explored everything there is to explore here at Lansford Canal. You know, the beauty of these places is that I can come back next season and it'll be a whole different place. It'll look different, it'll feel different. There'll be a different energy floating around in here. You know, find, find the state parks that are near you, find the land preserves that are near you, find, find the places that people have set up like this for us to enjoy and support those places. And you know, all you need to do to support these places is just, is just use them. Let's just get one more shot of the main entrance of Lansford Canal State Park here.